Hello students, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 4 that is Tool Life and Machining Economics. In this video, we will be discussing about the numericals related to module number 4. <music> So we will start with the first one. So that is it is required to select a cutting tool to machine 10,000 components based on the criteria on the minimum cost. So two tools are given that is tool A and tool B as you can see in the slide. So the estimated machining time component is 0.8 minute for either of the tools and they are operated at same speed and depth of cut that is cutting parameters is same and the machining time per component is also same that is 0.8 minutes. So the cutting parameters, tool life constants and costs of two tools are shown below. That is uh, for tool A and tool B, N, C, V machining cost that is rupees per hour and resharpening cost that is rupees per resharpen is given for A and B tool. So which one would you recommend? So that is whichever costs you less, you would recommend that one. So we will find out what is which, which tool the overall cost will be very less. So for that we need to first calculate what is the machining cost. So to calculate that, so we need to use the uh, equations which we have uh, discussed earlier. So that is what is the total machining cost is a summation of uh, labor cost, uh, resharpening cost. Let us cost first uh, calculate the machining time, machining cost that is uh, total machining time will be equal to uh, number of components into machining time per component. Machining time per component is given is as a 0.8 and it is com same for both and 10,000 components are given so it will be 8,000 minutes. So 8,000 minutes, minutes is the total machining time in case of tool A and tool B both. So if you go for tool A, so where N is 0.16 and C is 160 and V is 80 meter per minute. So if we have a Tyler's tool life equation Vt to the power of n is equal to c. So we get tool life Ta will be equal to 76.11 by substituting the above values. So for 10,000 components, this is a tool life of a particular that is tool A is 76.11. But we need to run this, uh, uh, we need to do this operation for, for about 8,000 minutes. So for 10, 10,000 components number of resharpening required will be because at every 76.11 minutes the tool will fail so we need to go for a resharpening so for 8,000 it will be 105 times resharpening has to be done if you are going for a tool A. Similarly if you are going for a and also we need to calculate the uh, what is the resharpening cost which is required so in case of a tool A. So if you calculate the resharpening cost so that will be uh, 2 into 105 for because we are resharpening it for 105 times and each time it costs us uh, 2 rupees and total cost will be equal to total cost of machining plus resharpening cost. So that is uh, you have a 8000 uh, minutes you are running uh, the uh, you are cutting the workpiece. So 8000 by 60 will be giving you a number of hours. So per hour the 15 rupees is the machining cost. So 15 into uh, number of uh, hours will give you the total machining cost in hours, uh, machining cost per hour plus resharpening cost. So totally we will end up with 2210. Similarly, so if we do it for tool B, so we will be getting, so we will be using the same uh, equations which we have done it for tool A. So here we will be getting TB will be equal to 51.54 minutes. So we will end up with uh, number of resharpening required is 155. So previously it was 105, here it is 155. So the total cost required will be going up because you are going for more number of resharpening and each resharpening is costing you around 8 rupees which is much higher than the tool A. So finally we will end up with uh, 2573 rupees. So that is uh, if you use the tool B, so which is much higher than tool A so hence tool A should be used. Similarly, so we will go discuss about other numericals also in the next slide. Next numerical is a company involved in a job shop manufacturing receives an order of making 50 pieces of a product 
and machining time for each pieces is 30 minutes so we need to have we have a 50 pieces and each uh, piece is consuming 30 minutes when machined with SSS, HSS tool a suggestion was uh, given to use carbide tool in place of HSS which will reduce the machining time by 10 minutes per piece so that is it will reduce it, it will be reduced to 20 minutes from 30 minutes so the cost of the HSS tool is 500 whereas carbide tool is 2000 so the machine hour rate including labor is rupees 50 per hour and if you are given a job of deciding whether or not to make the investment of carbide tool so what would be the recommendation so whether to go for carbide tool or not to go for carbide tool so if you go for carbide tool your uh, machine time is decreasing uh, from 30 minutes to 20 minutes but the cost of the tool is increasing from 500 to 2000 uh, well let us do the calculation so if we do the calculation for this as the all other costs are same the cost of production using hss will be equal to number of uh, pieces into cost of machining plus cost of tool so number of pieces is same that is 50 in the both the case uh, cost of machining is 30 into 50 uh, because 30 is the time required and 50 is the machining cost divided by 60 plus 500 is the cost of the tool so i will be getting 1750 if i go for hss tool similarly if i go for a carbide tool so where uh, it will reduce uh, to 10 minutes so it is 50 into 10 into 50 by 60 so plus 2000 is the cost of the tool so finally i will end up with 2417 rupees so if you compare the cost the hss tool is costing you less so in for uh, compared to carbide tool similarly so we will do the other numerical uh, which is related to uh, tool life as you can see the assumed values of n for hss uh, tungsten carbide and ceramic as uh, n value as 0.1 for hss 0 0.3 for tungsten carbide and 0.5 for ceramic so find out the effects of doubling speed so if i increase the speed uh, by two times uh, what is that effect on the tool life in each case that is with respect to hss tungsten carbide and ceramic tools so in which case the effect will be more as you can see the let us take v1 as a uh, initial speed and v2 as the changed speed so we can come we can have this equation from tyler's tool life equation v1 t1 to the power of n will be equal to v2 t2 to the power of n for hss uh, if I rearrange the equation t1 by t2 will be equal to v2 by v1 to the power of 1 by n so where I am doubling the speed so it will be 2 by 1 in to, to the power of 1 by 0 0.1 because n for HSS is 0 0.1 so I will be getting t1 by t2 as 1024 similarly if I do it for tungsten carbide tool where n is 0 0.3 if I substitute t1 by t2 is 10 similarly for ceramic if I substitute, I will get T1 by T2 is equal to 4. From this, it is clear that effect of doubling the speed is more predominant in HHS, HSS tool material. Next, uh, we have a one more problem on Tyler's tool life equation. So, which is having N is equal to 0.5 and C is 300. Calculate change in tool life when the cutting speed is reduced by 25%. If it is 100, it is reduced to 75. So, what is the effect on the tool life? As you can see, n is 0.5. So we substitute v t to the power of of or v square root t is equal to 300. Okay, and uh, we know v2 is 0.75 times of v1 because we have reduced the speed by 25%. So instead of substituting v1, uh, I can sub instead of substituting v2, I can substitute 0.75 v1. So and I can do the calculation. Then if I do the calculation, t2 by t1 will be equal to 1.7. 8 so uh, i'll be getting uh, the change in tool life as 0.78 that is if i reduce the uh, cutting speed by 25 percent the tool life increases by 78 percent so these were the few num numericals on uh, cutting tool cost and also about cutting tool uh, life so we'll end this video